When I was reading all about this and I and I watched their stories, uh, they're they're not alone. I mean, the last statistics were like for 2006 or something like that. But there there are a number of there people. One hundred and eighty thousand Americans who are living off grid and for different reasons. And and we got to profile some of them. We also looked at a former pro snowboarder who had an like the American dream. He won all these competitions, he had money and fame, he sold his 4,000 square foot house to build a 225 square foot house up in Truckee, no electricity, um, relies on the water from his streams. It's actually a really beautiful dwelling. Mm -hmm. um, does, but, it, does it seduce you at all? Does it make you want to get out of your life a little? You know, it makes me want to disconnect a little bit more, mm -hmm. you know, not have the phone right by my bed when I'm sleeping, to declutter, get rid of a lot of the excess. Let me ask you, you know how smokers have to smoke a cigarette when they wake up? Do you pick up your phone immediately? Oh, yes. First mm -hmm. thing? I do. First Be thing. And what is it you think you're missing? I, I, that's the thing. What's the work email? What's, you know, what's yeah. somebody posting? And what if you looked at it a half hour later? It wouldn't make a difference. The thing is, I look at mine in the middle of the night sometimes. Oh, yes. Me too, but you can't, because <laughs> then you can't go back to sleep, because then you're worried about, well, what do I need to do tomorrow? I mean, think or... if we just put the phone in a different room, yeah. I and mean, that would be but a step. But then how would we wake up? Yeah. That's where my alarm is. you get up and you walk over to the other room is what happened. Uh, in, in going off grid, uh, uh, there you go. You know where I'm going. Are you going to North Korea? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, that's the thing. Like, after my experience in North Korea, yes. you do think that we could, that's why I say, we could live off grid. Mm -hmm. We could. Yeah. Um, but we certainly wouldn't choose to. Okay. No, oh, and there you are. Oh, oh, here's, oh, here's a this. shot of you. When, oh. you. when you returned from North Korea after you were held captive. Yeah, it's uh, March 17th, so the date's coming up. That was the day of our captivity. And, and when you crossed that border and you were arrested, you really had no idea what your future would be. No. You really didn't know. I, well, I thought that I wouldn't have a future. Really? So, yeah. And at one point, um, you, you actually said, yes, we are here to overthrow your government, the two of you, you and Yuna, right? Well, no, they were, they accused us uh -huh. of trying to overthrow the government, which is cra crazy. <laughs> it's like a comedy, but it wasn't funny. It wasn't funny. It was, it was very, it was surreal, though. It was right yeah. out of a movie. All right. It's great to see you. Good to see you. Always. So nice to see you. You can check out Going Off Grid with Laura Lane on... Seekernetwork.com. So Say it again. Seekernetwork.com. Seeker and this is your new new mission, doing stories for this uh, Yeah, episode. it's one of Discovery's web properties. It's a new, new site that's focused on travel, adventure, and curiosity. Ooh.